Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you, Cahirlach. Uh, I stood in the recent election as a right to water, right to change candidate. I've been involved in the movement from the very initial uh, stages. And I want, first of all, to congratulate all those water campaigners right around the country who, over the last two and a half to three years, have uh, stood up and been counted. The, uh, effectively, hundreds of thousands who came out onto the street. Uh, the community campaigners, the anti-meter protesters, the community people who fought in every street and estate, in every village, in every town, in every city throughout this country. Uh, you stood up and you were counted. And you stood up to Irish water and fought Irish water, uh, those campaigners, as I said, in every street and every estate uh, right, across, uh, right across this country. And they stood up to the political parties as well. Uh, and in fact, uh, people power has won its first victory against water charges. Uh, the people, the water campaigners, the communities have forced the political parties to retreat. Uh, and indeed, the emerging deal, the emerging fudge, I suppose, is a first victory for those campaigners and for those community, communities who have been fighting water charges for the last three years. Uh, the government has been forced to back down. Fianna Fáil has been forced to back down. And they didn't do it voluntarily. They did, they did it under pressure uh, from people power, the people of this country who stood up and were counted. But a word of caution to all those involved in the campaign. I say stay organised, continue to resist the metering. These parties are treacherous and they may well attempt to reintroduce water charges. And we know today the bad-tempered rant of the caretaker minister, Alan Kelly, here uh, may well be an indication of what is to come. But if we stay organised, if we continue to resist the metering, then water charges are dead and buried and will, and will be gone forever. I, I want to uh, also say that water charges, as we've said from the very beginning, are unjust, that they're double taxation, and that they were the straw that broke the camel's back uh, for people who were hard hit and devastated by austerity, particularly low- and middle-income families. There is a motion on the order paper of the Dáil here, uh, signed by 39 TDs, uh, calling for the uh, abolition of charges, uh, for the enshrining of uh, water as a, as a, in, in the Constitution uh, in public ownership. Uh, and I believe that that motion should be taken, and should be taken urgently, and uh, unfortunately Fianna Fáil have, together with, with, uh, agreed with Fine Gael to prevent, the, um, to prevent uh, that, that motion being taken here. And I would appeal to Fianna Fáil, they were, they were elected on a pledge to end water charges, to allow that motion to go on the floor of this Dáil and have a, vote, have a vote on it, because there is a majority for the abolition of water charges in this House. Um, I think it's very important to say uh, that Irish water uh, must go, it must be abolished. It has been an absolute disaster for ordinary people. Uh, we, must also, we must also ensure that those people, uh, the very, very many people who paid their water charges under du duress, the elderly people who were afraid, uh, ill people who uh, were worried and who paid under duress and who certainly did not pay, and pay voluntarily. Those people should be refunded, uh, should be refunded their charges. Uh, and um, finally, uh, Cahirlach, uh, it is most important and vitally important that the legislation underpinning domestic water charges be repealed. And I would appeal again uh, to both Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael to allow the motion on the order paper, uh, signed by 39 TDs, uh, to be debated in this House and to be voted on this, in this House so as, uh, so as water charges, Irish water and Irish water can be put to bed once and for all and absolutely abolished. Thank you,